an overwhelming sense of power. <laughs> it's an extension of the creative part of my mind. Instant gratification to the, to the kids. I get to think visually, I get to think with sound. I associate it with getting what I want. Stimulus to, 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 to think more deeply and more broadly and, and really more profoundly about a particular subject. Great tool for helping me remain on the Dean's List. We don't use it as a tool. We use the machine more as a weapon. And he's on the bed. Sequa, SQAA, 100 grand. That's, yeah, what work for me is very simply making money for the firm and making money for institutions. Uh, that's what we get paid to do here. Uh, our expertise lie here in giving the customers liquidity in a very illiquid market. Give me, give me a first chance to get in the desk. I used to have 10 machines before, literally 10 machines, which I would watch. Uh, right now, all I do is have to watch this one screen. Uh, it takes the place of 10, of, of 10 machines. Excuse me. Hello. Right now, they're all green on my screen, which tells me, by a quick glance, the market's going up. So if an institution comes in and wants us to commit a large amount of capital, I know I'm better off buying stocks rather than selling stocks. It takes the place of 10, of 10 machines. We've scaled our whole operation down to this one Macintosh. The guy brought the Mac out to the car. It was, it was almost like, OK, this is it. We we're really in business. To us, the Mac is a part of our family. It's, it's very special to us. Because without the Macintosh, we wouldn't be in desktop publishing. We can't afford the, the, you know, the 50,000 Macs set up for the clients to play on, but we can use one Mac Plus to just do quality work and get paid for that. It satisfies me in a way that I think sitting down with a, a yellow pad and a number two pencil uh, did not do. And what the Macintosh does is it allows me to extend the whole process of discovery. We go out and discover fossils like this, which are literally millions of years old, bring them back and, and study them here uh, in our laboratories. But what's astonishing to me, and what is most remarkable, is once we began analyzing these discoveries with the Macintosh, we gained insights, new discoveries about where they fit on the human family tree that we had never anticipated before. Good, okay, let's try again. It's the only means for these kids to be in touch with progress on just the most basic level. That's what I like, it's all up here. I hope they feel like I am creative, I can draw, I can program, I can do math. Okay, yeah, click on it. But you start punching that little mouse and that screen and, and then you see that little uh, figure running all over the screen and you say, oh my God, this is something. They can be their own role model, they can be their own Batman, they can be their own Superman, their own Wonder Woman. All of a sudden they have accessibility to quick learning skills and their minds are always open to be perceptive and catch things. Yeah, I'm talking about you, BJ. <laughs> They've been catching it, man. They're gonna catch it all and it's better for them to catch it here where the computers are than for them to catch it on the street. We on the sailing team had a problem getting the results of our regattas to the sailors immediately after the regatta or soon after. We would have 20 to 30 races a day and a lot of very tired, very angry sailors who wanted to know how they'd done. Me with my Macintosh we, and a spreadsheet, it's easy to get the information in quickly and bring it out in an intelligent, presentable form. It, it made a lot of people happy. I think the Macintosh is the best computer for combining what I've written with other forms of expression, be it spreadsheet, graphs, or graphics. When I get done what I have to get done, it's sort of like you're putting, putting your faithful horse away. My Macintosh is like trigger. To have a, an, another machine outside of your body that reacts as quickly or more quickly is a stimulus for you yourself. In 10 years, we're going to be the Donald Trumps of the desktop publishing industry. It's a great device for getting done what has to get done, be it sailing team results or a 50-page thesis. I've become very, very dependent upon it. Excuse me. Hello. war is on. It seems that nearly every day someone finds a new way of giving us facts. Reports, printouts, analyses, forecasts, reviews, updates, a flood of materials designed to help us understand the changing world of business. 
But having a lot of information at our fingertips isn't always the best way of understanding what it means. In fact, what starts out as a lot of information often ends up as just a lot of numbers. That's where business graphics comes into the picture. Business graphics is a tool for giving meaning to numbers, for showing relationships and trends, for clarifying and emphasizing, and a way of communicating those meanings quickly, clearly, and attractively. Business graphics turns a lot of numbers into a lot of answers. More and more people are understanding the advantages of graphics. That's why Apple Business Graphics was developed. It gives you the power of computer graphics and the flexibility to use them where you need graphs the most. Financial forecast, sales reports, scientific charting. Whether you're working with the raw numbers or making your final presentation. Apple Business Graphics is being used in over 6,000 offices today because you need graphs to help you understand data. Let's take a look at how the program works for someone who uses numbers every day. If a market researcher wants to know how nationwide product sales are doing, she can learn more from data that looks like this than from data that looks like this. In the back of my mind, I always knew that charts would help me, but it used to be so hard to get them. Our data processing department took weeks to make them, and I never had the time to learn their software for myself. But what I like so much about Apple Business Graphics is that I can graph my own data in about two minutes. It's that easy. So it gives me the time and the flexibility I need to really work with the data, experiment, try to find trends and curves that aren't immediately noticeable from the numbers themselves. For instance, I've got some tables here from the data processing department on product sales. Now, I graphed that data as a time series, and I clearly see that something went wrong during these months here. Now, here's the same data broken down product by product, and I see all of them took a pretty healthy dip during those same months, so I can't really blame it on one particular product. But when I graph the numbers by region, I see that the north and the east actually went up during those months, but that the Midwest really bottomed out. Now, that kind of information is extremely useful to me. Most of these graphs I wouldn't make into slides or anything like that. They're purely for my information. But this last one about the Midwest, well, I think someone in management would be very interested in looking at that one. Apple Business Graphics is a program designed to give you just that sort of versatility. You can take the data you always work with, VisiCalc files or other external database files, and analyze it in graphs without having to re-enter the data. We realized that many of the things that we originally bought the computer for, like being able to use VisiCalc and getting information from the Dow Jones News Service, were all numbers programs. We do want to get our hands on a lot of numerical information. But it wasn't until we got Apple Business Graphics that we really made full use of what those numbers were trying to tell us. I can do some pretty complicated mathematical graphing, like smooth moving averages and curve fitting, things I could never really do with VisiCalc. Now I'm so used to graphing our VisiCalc models that I've created standardized formats for all the graphs I use most often. Now, every month, I can automatically load in the data and see it in the format I created, all with one command. My boss really appreciates that. When he compares monthly sales, the titles and the axes are the same. The graphs look familiar. That makes them easier to explain and to understand. You know, I'm concerned about this downward trend in the Midwestern region. I should probably show this to the board this afternoon. How about some overheads of these bar charts, okay? Okay, no problem. Such short notice used to infuriate me. We had to go to an outside production service for overheads. But now I take the same Apple Business Graphics data I used before and draw really high quality graphs on our plotter. I can print the same data on a letter quality printer if I'm issuing a report, or if I want to take my work home, I can use a little silent type. But no matter how we print them, I'm still surprised at how easy it has become to use graphs in our office. As you can see, the problem is in the sales in the Midwest region, which have dropped severely. Now, unfortunately, this is... 
It's funny, we've even gotten other departments to start using graphics. Our salespeople are using a program called Screen Director to make a sort of electronic slideshow with a computer. But the slides are actually the graphs they made with Apple Business Graphics, and the projector is the Apple Monitor. We can even use the same data and graphs with another program to get actual 35 millimeter slides and overhead transparencies right over the phone line from the Apple. That way the executives can use Apple Business Graphics to make the points they want to make.